Thank you again to uh, Ellen and Tristan Harris from Western Creation. It's now a great privilege to introduce you to a pioneer, a champion, an advocate of the youth sector and of social entrepreneurship in Australia. Jan Owen is currently the Chief Executive Officer of the Foundation for Young Australians, has been the Executive Director of Social Ventures Australia, and was founder of CREATE, which is Australia's peak body representing the voices of children and young people in out-of-home care. Jan currently sits on the boards of the National Australia Bank School's FIRST program, the School for Social Entrepreneurs, the Inspire Foundation, and the International Women's Development Agency. She's a very passionate, committed, and brilliant contributor to the space that we all care very much about. Please make her feel welcome. Adam and um, I also extend my welcome to all of you from 80 different countries around the world. How amazing is that? I've been asked today to talk to you about empowerment and after the past 24 hours in this country, if you've been following it at all, and having just flown in from Canberra, I'm pretty sure that if the generation Y, and choose how you would like to spell that by the way, party got organised in the next six months. I'm pretty sure you could take the electric by storm by September. I'm just saying that. Just to the locals. Um, I'm not going to mention it again. Well, I might. But this is the end of the conference and it wouldn't be an international youth conference without a revolutionary call to arms, right? Right. So, firstly, congratulations on being almost half the world's population. Truly, this has not happened for a very long time and you are almost half the world's population. This is your time. This is your opportunity. I absolutely, categorically disagree with anyone who says that you are the future. You are unequivocally the now. Urgently, desperately, you are the now and we need you now. Thank you for being here and thank you for stepping up because in doing that you've said that you are here, you're awake, you're present and you want to be part of now. You are determining our capacity to transition and evolve through to the next century. I'm tremendously inspired by you and your tribe every day. You are leading social movements around the world. And here in Australia, the past five years has seen more social activism by young people than in the previous 20. Amazing movements led on climate change, on world and ending poverty, on young women and on international development driven out of this country by young people under the age of 25. There have been movements and revolutions for change throughout the course of history, of course. However, your way of organising and leading, your way of collaborating, is demanding a new global conversation. You are creating a new narrative about the kind of world you want to not only survive in, but one in which you want to live, love and thrive in. There has never been the tools that you have at hand the instantaneous response mechanisms provided by social media, the ability to mobilise people in an instance. There has never been the convergence of skills across sectors and disciplines of which I'm very sure you represent in the room. For the hearts and the competition, for the hearts and minds this has generated. You have never had the education, we have never had your education before. And when every girl on this planet, and I mean every girl on this planet is educated, we will truly realise our potential. So what is the opportunity that you have with these incredible assets? In other words, why you, why here, why now? Well, three reasons. Number one, you collectively have the courage, imagination, will and curiosity. The ideas, the tenacity and good spark and the tools to seed and lead change. Number two, your here is the globe. The entire planet is your home. You are the first generation for which this is really true. What will it take? 
you are going to witness and have to wrangle and also probably demand the greatest intergener intergenerational transfer of resources, trust and leadership. You're probably going to have to demand them from your parents. You're probably going to have to step over your older brothers and sisters, Gen X as the middle child. You're probably going to have to fight really hard to get the resources to create the change that you want. But unless there is an intergenerational transfer of those resources, the largest amount of which there will have been in centuries, you will not be able to lead the change that you want and to fulfil the ambitions that you have. And I know you have those ambitions. Trust, leadership, resources. You will need elders, of course you will, but you will need more than that each other and the tools that you have for change. You will need your education, you will need your communities and you will need your tribe, this tribe. And that's what's so powerful and compelling about what you have done with World Month, that you have created a group of people who are connected and networked forever as you lead change and inspire change in each other, as you do more than just go on your professional path. We expect much, much more of each other now. We expect you to be a professional um, person, but also to lead change and also be part of your community. We expect nothing less of each other. We expect you to act in your country, but also in other countries. We expect you to stand by each other and for each other. And I know and I see every day that you do do that. And it is inspiring and powerful and a compelling story. All that the rest of us need to do, frankly, is probably get out of your way. I want to leave you with the words of Steve Jobs, the late Steve Jobs. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who normally do. I hope that you are all the crazy ones, the misfits, and I know that you're going to change the world. Congratulations. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming to Australia.